Hey everybody, it's Michael with AMS here to announce our loot box giveaway. If you're interested in the items that you see here, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and share this post on Facebook. We will be announcing the winner on August 3rd and all the details are in the description below. What's up guys, Dale with AMS Performance here and this is my BMW 3 Series. I don't know what exactly uh, what uh is. this is what started out as a 1986 BMW 3 series it actually started off as a 325e for fuel economy it's not anymore um, it's an m20 b25 engine bone stock short block stock head aside from a mild cam and it's boosted um, I mean I'll show you under the engine or under the hood here in a second sounds good Typical fancy pants, boy stuff, you know? Stance! Stance pants. Get out of here. So what, uh, what do you see you running in this thing? Uh, this is a ECU Masters Classic. Uh, so it's a full standalone ECU. In, uh, integrated wideband sensor, integrated boost control. So yeah, Martin, the, uh, the owner of AMS, is actually about to tune this. And he said he's never really messed with ECU Masters before. Yeah, no, he, uh, he said he hasn't really played with it too much. So he wants to. He yeah, wants he kind of kind of came to me and said that he wanted to play with it a little bit. I'm always down for improvement, so. Nice. Well, I'm excited to hear this thing, man. Look at, the, look at those pipes, bro. Look at those pipes. So it was just plug and play for this one too. Uh, this is a full custom harness. Gotcha. Car. So okay. I actually built the harness with uh, my former boss. He's he's been the sole tuner on this car so up far. Until, yeah. Up until now. Up until now, Martin said he wanted to play with it, so. Well, Martin, uh, Martin's a beast. He tunes some pretty wild cars here, yeah. so this uh, probably won't be too hard. It's pretty going. mild for him. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Oh uh, no, this is fully like fully tuned. Oh, I've, just... I've been driving this car on this same tune for two and a half years or so. Okay. It's fully functional, fully drivable. Like I said, Martin just kind of wants to play with it. Whoa, that is a f massive curb ski. Uh, it's actually just a 5862. Okay. Uh, precision. So. So this is the. Moderately sized, but pretty much similar to like a Garrett 35R. Okay. Uh, just looks a little bit bigger. But this is the motor that comes in these, right? Yep. Okay. Yep. So it's a straight six, 2.5 liter, single overhead cam. 12 valve. 12 valve. Full track. <laughs> 12, old track motor, valve. dude. I, I, I gotta set the the Knox. The knock, I can look it up real quick. The knock monitor because it'll depend the frequency you, mon you monitor the knock on. It's okay. a relationship to the board or gotcha. the motor. I can look it up too online. Uh, what is it? Uh, it's a motor. M20B25. M20B25. Yep. Yeah. First drift car I'm tuning. <laughs> really? <laughs> uh, <laughs> Intentional drift car, I guess. He, he requested uh, flames at the exhaust, though, so... Uh, oh, he requested it? Requested it. Okay. Let's shoot flames. Like and what, so to do that, you just gotta, like, dump fuel on diesel or something? Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, just don't turn, uh... Just keep dumping fuel and don't do fuel, uh... Fuel cut on it. Um... Or blow it up really good, that'll blow flames. <laughs> too. What do you what do you do if your boss blows up your car on the dyno? I don't, I don't think you can get mad. I don't think you're allowed to. I, don't, I need this. I need USB, um, this to that USB cable. All right, well, it's not long, but this is what I was able to get. Oh, oh God. <laughs> really? This is the longest you can get? That's all I can find. No? Well, you got one of these, too? Yeah. Uh, is, it, is it running, or? It, it was, and it, like, crashed it. Oh. <laughs> it still runs. Oh, it just okay. doesn't drive. It's got, like... Crab walk. 50 degrees of positive camera yeah. on the wheel. <laughs> oh, jeez. I haven't used this thing in a long time. A lot of these use every two now. Cybex, Motec, Equitech, Cabo, GTRs, all the new cars. Um, Super, Huracan. They all have a really good knock control from the factory. This never came with one, right? This, yeah, this never came with one. Uh, it's an older car, so we kind of improvised uh, the knock sensor on the block somewhere, so it won't be ideal. 
but um, at least we'll be able to see something. I'm just gonna tune up pump gas and uh, I just wanna be safe about it. The engine is limited by uh, knock or, uh, or mean, best, mean best torque. So you, like on a race gas, you run it at a boost where you know the octane's high enough where it won't detonate. So you keep advancing timing until you make it more power, basically, and that's MVP timing. Except on pump yeah. gas, you can reach a knock limit before you hit MVT. Right. Okay. Like if advancing it and be ready to make more power, well, it could be knocking. Then the gas so. pistons are like. Sure. See yeah, you guys. Yeah, yeah, but I had out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, boy, I gotta drive this bitch home when the home is in. Let's go. Oh, that's it. Yeah. up some spares for a little drift event we're gonna go to this weekend shake the car down it's the first time I've driven it so last time we we were getting you're getting the tune by Martin back there I had to leave a little bit early but how did the rest of that go oh uh, it went well we had a couple of small issues nothing too crazy like I said the car was tuned before it ran really great we just wanted to try some different uh, strategies inside the ECU but we ended up making a 350 wheel on 93 on a head. stock short block, bone stock short block, stock head aside from a cam like we had, had said before. But, uh, but I'm looking here, that looks like a little bit too much tread. Yeah, there's and quite gotta, a bit. There's quite a bit of tread on these. They're actually... Uh, we got to run that down. We'll definitely take care of that this weekend. Well, everybody, thanks for checking back in. We are now at Jefferson Speedway in Wisconsin. And we're actually here to watch Dale, who is one of the employees of AMS, do some drifting. And it's going to be uh, pretty nasty. His BMW is super sick. I think before this, you guys already saw some shots on the dyno. But yeah, the car uh, should be performing well, so we're going to go check in with him. But first, let's see some dope cinematics. How about that? Fix it? It's fixed. It's gonna fixed. be shitty, but it's fixed. Uh, yeah, they're set. I just gotta reposition the jack. I'm gonna set it down on the stand. Okay, thanks. Just drift car things. This shit's dumb, dude. I highly don't recommend it. <laughs> the back, back left, or back right one? Back, yeah. Go ahead and start tightening that one, maybe? Okay. I need to finish my car. I can drive. It's not a nut, it's just... Where is it? Uh, almost done. Almost? Almost done. I'm hoping it'll actually be at AMS this week. Ooh, so, so we gonna see that? Yes, sir. Perfect.
good though, man. I've was... got, got a couple of laps around here in the last couple of years. So. You've been coming here for that long? Yeah. 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 This is it's one of our go-tos. Like I live super close, so this is my first time here personally, so I've never yeah. been here. It's, a, it's fun. It's a fun little track for it's sure. It's fun. There's a lot of guys that don't normally run these kind of tracks, like Mike over here in the the Gleam cars. Oh All yeah. Those yeah. cars typically those are your little style cars that don't show up the circle tracks, and they're they're out here having a blast. So what other tracks are there around here? Um, obviously there's Jefferson, and then we've got like US Air, which is like three hours more. Okay. But aside from that, I mean, as far as like smooth, nice holes to run, there's not many. This is pretty much it. Otherwise, they're huge. Yeah. That big power to to make it work. We're kind of talk about the the run groups, I guess. So the bigger power, the more experienced drivers are in Group A, um, which gets the line moving quicker. That way, we're. We're favoring the beginners so that they get more track time to kind of figure it out. That's good. Um, but uh, yeah, you'll see a lot of these lower power cars having a difficult time, I guess, like with, it's not the fact that they don't make a ton of power, it's the fact that they don't know the line very well. Mm -hmm. You can link this track with a stock KA car, you just have to know where to do it. Um, just seat time pretty much. Exactly. Yeah, knowing the track time, more. knowing where you need to be, stuff like that. Cool. Uh, but you definitely, you've had some seat time here because yeah. yeah, those pretty yeah, good runs. Yeah, no, it felt good. I mean, shifter, we, shifter held up though? Shifter held up. It feels weird for sure, but uh, it works. We're here. I'm not going to leave. Going for a ride, you ready? 